Yesterday there was uh, unexpected civil unrest uh, just nearby the Port of Prince Airport. Got uh, announcement all uh, flights leaving and arriving in Port of Prince will be cancelled for the next five days. So we just got on the tuk tuk. It will take us to the place where we can get the transportation to uh, the border. You're gonna sit here. All right. All right. So just arrived in uh, border town in the patron side. Also, I have passed by uh, several check, several security checkpoints. Uh, that because uh, both Dominican Republic and Haiti, those two countries, are uh, the state of tension. Si, hablo español. Y tú eres de Chile. Tú eres de Chile. No, soy de Japón. Japón, sí. We just entered the Dominican Republic, the most chaotic uh, border crossing. So uh, it took nearly one day to get uh, here, San Domingo, from Capaishan, uh, but I make a decision to travel there as long as the situation gets more stable uh, in our See you guys in Port Prince, Haiti. Haiti is on a brink of becoming a failed state. <laughs> Haiti is collapsing. The country has been ravaged by two weeks of chaos, of bloodshed, of intense fighting and horrific human suffering with no obvious way out. Port-au-Prince is no stranger to gang violence, but an unholy alliance has emerged between the most powerful armed groups. Now unified behind this man, Jimmy Chercier, aka Barbecue. Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. More than half the population lives below the poverty line with limited access to basic services. Since the assassination of President Jovenel Moise in 2021 and the subsequent 7.2 magnitude earthquake that devastated the country, violent conflict between armed gangs have dominated socio-economic life in the Port au Prince metropolitan area, spreading fear and terror among the population. The security situation has deteriorated significantly and reached a new level since the end of April 2022, seriously affecting the operational environment for humanitarian actors and hindering their ability to carry out life-saving assistance. Therefore, Haiti has been classified as one of the countries with the highest risk of abduction, crime, civil upheaval, and inadequate healthcare infrastructure. As a result, every country's foreign minister has issued warnings to travelers to avoid going to Haiti at all costs. On top of that, Haiti has been plunged into an unprecedented crisis since gangs began attacking capital Port-au-Prince on 29 February 2024. The previous day, the country Prime Minister Ariel Henry attended a CARICOM Caribbean Community Summit in Guyana, which focused on the Haitian crisis. Although Henley was seen as a part of the problem by a number of representatives, this has had dramatic humanitarian consequences and direct political repercussions, which resulted in the country's Prime Minister, Ariel Henley, resigning on March 11. So what is the real situation like in this country known for its dangers? I spent a week exploring Haiti to get the answer for that one. Um, hello guys, uh, bonjour, como ça va? Uh, now I'm in Capaishan, actually today is my um, last day here in Capaishan and actually I made a decision to travel to port prince which is capital city of Haiti just three days ago but yesterday there was uh, unexpected civil unrest uh, just nearby the port prince airport got uh, announcement all uh, flight leaving and arrive in port prince will be cancelled for the next five days I have decided to travel to uh, Dominican Republic
So uh, I have decided to travel to uh, Dominican Republic uh, by land instead of traveling port au prince this time. So I am pretty not sure if I might get back to Haiti again to travel port au prince but yeah, I'll probably travel as long as the situation gets more stable in a few weeks. Alright, so um, we are heading for the place where I can get the transportation, uh, the water of Dominican Republic. So even in the last uh, yeah. day, these two guys are still taking care of Yes, the, the stay is over. <laughs> All right. Now we're leaving. Yes. Uh, my friend is going to the DR. Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. Yeah. So uh, the trip hasn't stopped now. Uh -huh. <laughs> because uh, in Port-au-Prince uh, we're gonna have a great time so uh -huh. if the if everything even is in stable condition uh -huh. so yes yeah we're hoping to have a All great right. time in Port-au-Prince yeah. as well yeah by the way what can I expect uh, to the place which is really near of the border near of the Dominican Republic what's uh, the name what is the well, place called uh, uh, it's called uh, the Habon so uh -huh. the Habong uh, belongs to the DR, uh -huh. but there's a lot of Haitians, you know, a lot of Haitians selling stuff from the Dominican Republic. Uh -huh. A lot of Haitians, uh -huh. you know, they, they speak Spanish to uh -huh. there, uh -huh. speak Creole in Spanish. All right. Yeah, they are, they are good people. All right. So let, you people guys, let you guys see the, the difference in scenery, like yes. Haitian side and um, Dominican Republic side. Yes. I'm really <laughs> looking forward to see. The scenery. Exactly. All right. so, yeah, that's good. So we just got on the tuk tuk. It will take us to the place where we can get the transportation to uh, the border. This one will take, take this one. Yeah. You're gonna sit here. I So just arrived in uh, border town in, uh, in Patreon side. 
as you see on the way to here, uh, I have seen like, so many cars and trucks with load passing by us. I think uh, get there making business by getting stuff in Dominican Republic and uh, selling in Haiti. So as you see, you know, uh, it's still 100% uh, Haiti, even though I'm uh, really close to the border. So I have passed by uh, several, check several security checkpoints. Uh, that because uh, both Dominican Republic and Haiti, those two countries, are uh, in state of tension. Si, sí, hablo español. Y tú eres de Chile. Tú eres de Chile. No, soy de Japón. Japón, sí. Y los japoneses parecen los chinos. Y los japoneses y los chinos parecen. Ah, parece. Como africano y haitiano parece. Sí, ah, sí, mira. Y negro, negro, negro. Similar. ¿Cómo se llama? Yo. ¿Cómo me llamo? Sí, sí. Uh, me llamo Taco. Soy de Japón. Yo soy Pintoy. Yo soy Pintoy. Soy Pintoy. Vale, vale, vale. Vale, vale. Vale, vale. Sí, sí. Vale, vale. Vale. Ah, tú no entiendes cómo yo hablo. No, no, no. Tú no entiendes mi, mi idioma bien. Vale, sí. Vale, sí. Vale, vale. Yo no hablo francés bien. ¿no? Pues, yo te enseño aquí. As the guy spoke to me in Spanish, there seemed to be some uh, some amount of people who speak uh, Spanish in this town since it is very close to the border. All right, I'm gonna head for uh, the border and see you guys in Dominican Republic. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, frontier, Frontiers, Frontier, Dominican Republic. De nada. No, ¿te hablas español? ¿De quién? ¿Te hablas español? No, yo no puedo hablar mucho. Oh, sí, sí, sí. sí. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Eres, eres eh, eh, japonero o china? Eh, sí, japonés. Japonés, exacto. Sí, sí. sí por el sentido. ¿Chequeando Haití? Yo... No, no, no. no. Vale, mil pesos. ¿Cómo mil pesos? Mil pesos. Ustedes que te dan.
terminal. Uh, unfortunately, I was supposed to supposed to be delayed to uh, Santo Domingo, which is capital city of uh, Dominican Republic. But since it's too late, there was also there was no bus going for Santo Domingo. So I'm gonna take uh, this bus uh, going for uh, Santiago, which is uh, one of the largest city here in the uh, Dominican Republic. And the following day, I'm, I'm leaving here for uh, Santo Domingo. So the music that playing inside the bus is called uh, Melengue, which is a traditional Dominican Republic music. As you might have known, um, Dominican Republic is a Spanish-speaking country, while Haiti is a Creole, French-based uh, language-speaking country. So I have witnessed like big difference in the past few minutes. So it was really interesting. year due to uh, the tension of these two countries. So I had no choice but to take uh, several transportation to get uh, Santo Domingo. So coming from Haiti, you see a big contrast of these two countries because uh, although these two countries are neighbor, they have like completely different culture. Also these two countries are uh, dissimilar economically. Uh, in terms of GDP, for gross uh, domestic per capita. Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, uh, while the average person of the Dominican Republic is uh, nine times richer than uh, the average person of Haiti. I'm pretty not sure if I might get back to Haiti to travel uh, for friends. But I make a decision to travel there as long as the situation gets more stable uh, in a few weeks. So um, I might see you guys in port au prince Haiti for free. I had no idea my journey would end this way, crossing into the Dominican Republic and sitting there until the situation with port au prince stabilized. On the contrary, the situation deteriorated over the course of a few weeks, if not months. And I had no choice but to leave the Dominican Republic and I even returned to my homeland Japan. After I left the Dominican Republic in the middle of March, one of my contacts in Haiti informed me that unrest had spread throughout Haiti with all flights being cancelled. As a result, Things stopped working as they once did, and people in Haiti struggled to survive a normal life. Actually, a few days after I entered the Dominican Republic, the level of security at the Dahab, which is a border with Haiti, increased due to the influx of Haitians seeking basic necessities. However, after half a year since my last trip, 
The situation is improving with the deployment of multinational forces. Last month, the police and military conducted out operations against violent gangs. Therefore, I made a decision to travel back to Haiti to visit Port au Prince in this September. So keep an eye out for the future series of Port au Prince, Haiti.